Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who disposed in marvelous order ministries both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, thus says the Lord God, because you are hearty of heart, you say, a God am I, I occupy a godly throne in the heart of the sea, and yet you are a man and not a god, however you may think yourself like a god. Oh yes, you are wiser than Daniel, and there is no secret that is beyond you. By your wisdom and your intelligence, you have made riches for yourself. You have put gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom applied to your trading, you have heaped up your riches, your heart, has grown haughty from your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have thought yourself to have the mind of a God, therefore I will bring against you foreigners, the most barbarous of nations. They shall draw their swords against your beauteous wisdom. They shall run them through your splendid apparel. They shall thrust you down to the pit there to die a bloodied corpse in the heart of the sea. Will you then say, I am a god, when you face your murderers? No, you are a man, not a god, handed over to those who will slay you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of foreigners. For I have spoken, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. It is I who deal death and give life. I would have said I will make an end of them and blot out their names from men's memories had I not feared the insolence of their enemies, feared that these foes would mistakenly boast. Our own hand won the victory the Lord had nothing to do with it, for they are a people devoid of reason, having no understanding. How could one man rout a thousand, or two men put ten thousand to flight, unless it was because their rock sold them and the Lord delivered them up?
Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people. On his servants he shall have pity. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men, this is impossible, but for God all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel from St. Matthew. It's a continuation of the one we heard yesterday where a young man approaches Jesus and asks, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Very important question he asks. I would that more people would ask that question today. And the reply, of course, keep the commandments. Commandments are as important for us today as ever, yet how many have abandoned them? Many people who would like to come to Mass today, but because of the virus, uh, do not. And, of course, the bishop has granted a dispensation. And so they have a true longing to be here. They make a spiritual Holy Communion. Um, Others maybe come on a weekday and they think there'll be less crowds, although we've had some pretty big crowds for some of our weekday masses, so I don't know if that will help them in their favor. But uh, maybe try coming to the Saturday night mass or the Sunday night mass. Seems to be the least attended. But the point is, there are many others who haven't been coming to mass, haven't been coming to mass for years. And so in most dioceses across the country, it's you know, about 25%, maybe 30% of their prisoners that are enrolled that, you know, come to Mass. Where are the rest of them? Well, they register when they wanted to have a baby or a grandbaby baptized or in order to get married or what have you. And uh, they think a little about it the rest of the time. This uh, young man was invited by the Lord in the gospel passage, to a a close friendship, to be a disciple. Sell what you have, give to the poor, then come follow me. You will have treasure in heaven. But he went away sad. Now the Lord gives his teaching on the danger of riches. It will be hard for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. So the the lesson, I think, is, is being generous. And Peter, for his part, wants to know, wait a minute, before I get too far into this, (laughs) 
what am I going to get out of it? <laughs> What's going to be mine? A little bit of a selfish attitude, I suppose, but people wonder. Uh, well, the Lord says, eternal life. How about that? And that's not all. Even a hundred times much in this life for those who give up everything and, and follow him. Let's face it, we're living in a very materialistic age. A person is measured not so much for who he is, but for what he has and how much he has. We certainly have every right to enjoy the good things God has made for us. For our, that's why he made them, for our use, for our enjoyment. But the Lord also says, you know, where uh, a man's treasure is, there will his heart be also. Where is your treasure? Do we seek God above all? Or do we maybe acknowledge God or give him some lip service, but really have our hearts elsewhere? When St. Ignatius Loyola was a student studying at the University of Paris, he encountered a student who uh, was set on making his way in the world, uh, dreaming of success that would be his. And St. Ignatius used to often repeat to him the words of our Lord, what would it profit a man to gain the whole world and suffer the loss of his own soul? Finally, word of God, which is, after all, living and active word, when that word sunk in, he realized what was truly important. And he went on to join St. Ignatius. In fact, he's one of his first followers, who became the great missionary, St. Francis Xavier. We should strive to be generous St. Ignatius uh, had that motto, ad maiorem dei gloriam. There's a comparative adjective there, the greater glory of God. So we should ask ourselves, you know, what more could I do than I'm doing right now? You're at Mass, you're doing a lot of good things, praying the rosary. But you could also ask yourself, what more could I do? As you've heard many times before, God will never be outdone in generosity. So since I've mentioned St. Ignatius, I'll conclude today with a prayer of his for generosity. Dearest Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for reward, save of knowing that I am doing thy will. Amen. Today's Holy Mass, a votive Mass of the Holy Angels is being offered for the Rizzo family.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating that, as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favorably and make them profitable for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory. And by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him, the multitude of angels extols your majesty. And we are united with them in exultant adoration as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabao, Pleni Sunceli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis. Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. of faith, save us. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nursed by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Patrick and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity 
through Pilgrim Church on Earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On this day, Quitolis peccata mundi, misere re nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccatum mundi, misere re nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccatum mundi, dona nobis pacem. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy. You should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those unable to receive Jesus in the most blessed sacrament, we offer the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly with you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
us pray. Having been nursed upon heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Yeah.